Good morning, students. I'm Amitav Khush from Gate Mission Public School, Himmatpur Block. And as you know, I'm teaching you Information Technology Course Code 402. Student, up till now, I've covered up session 8, that is on how to create, modify, and format chart. I hope that you have gone through my previous videos and got the idea. In, in session 9, I would be covering up how to sort and filter the data. In this session, uh, I will show you basic steps of filtering the data as well as advanced steps of filtering the data. Filtering the data is required when you have huge volume of data in spreadsheet. In that case, you need to categorize the data in a proper order so that when you do proper analysis, you can view all the values of the data in the given spreadsheet. So all these things I would be showing you in practical. So please stay tuned and watch my video. Thank you. Welcome back students. So we are starting a chapter sort and filter data. In this chapter, we would learn how we will arrange the data in us for a specific field in increasing and decreasing order in a worksheet of a workbook. So filtration of data is required when you have a huge amount of records in a worksheet where it is not possible for you to go through each and every record one by one. So based on the category or the selection that you do, you filter that record. This we will learn it today. So let's start our today's tutorial. Let me minimize this. And I already have student record that is available over here. So let's say I want to filter the students of class 10th A2 from the given record. In order to make a selection, you have to select the number of cell range for which you want to do a selection. So let's say I want to select these two cells because uh, in these two columns I have name of the student as well as their class and section. So one option is go to home tab and in editing group, group click on sort and filter and then click on filter to enable filtering process the second the same thing you can find in data group under sort and filter you find the same item so as i said that i want to filter list of those students who are studying in class 10 day 2 so in this section in this class section column click on it and first uncheck select all option because i only want a record of 10th a2 student so scroll down and click on 10th a2 and click on ok now the moment you click on ok you will find record of 10th a2 student so there are There are 51 students as of now showing in the list. Now let's say I want this record to be displayed in an alphabetic manner because this particular record is displayed in ad and based on admission number uh, from in decreasing to increasing order. So if you want to display the record in alphabetic manner select any of the two cells then in sort and filter group click on a to z sort and it will show you a warning message and yeah, will ask you do you want to expand the selection you click ok you will notice that your record is displayed in an alphabetic order so this is how you can do filtration as well as sorting of data in increasing order 
as well as in decreasing order now let's say i want to find i am opening another record for you i have created a list of students who has obtained few marks in three subjects out of 100 and i have done a total of those marks for each student now let's say i want to find the name or the record of the students who has obtained less than um, 80 marks in hindi so this is a small uh, data sheet but what if there are uh, more than 200 or let's say 1500 students studying in our school so in that case seeing on the screen is not possible so just for as a demo how to do that operation i'm going to show you on this particular record so first make a filtration of the subject once it is enabled let's say i want to uh, find it in for the hindi subject who has obtained less than 80 marks so click on this arrow and then click on number filter this option this process is also called as auto filter or number filter process that can be done through auto filter so i will select this option students those who have obtained less than 80 marks click on it and auto filter dialog box will appear and here in this box i will type 80 so my it is a type of query which will display the name of student who has scored less than 80 marks in in the subject when i click on ok so as you can see these are the name of the students who has scored less than 80 marks so this is how you can enable numbering filter through custom auto filter now what is advanced filter now advanced filter says advanced filter option is used to filter the data in multiple fields by using specified criteria or to find unique records it is also used to copy the field records to different location so in your book one advanced filter process is given where there is a number of employees working in a company and their salary has been showed in the given book so please uh, go through that chart given your book there is nothing much given there what extra thing this advanced filter does it that it copies the data uh, for which you throw a record uh, like in your book it has label 10,000 rupees in, in a cell D2 and they want to display who are the employees with what designation are earning 10,000 rupees as a sal as they are drawing a salary of 10,000 rupees so for that they have selected a range so that is it if you and uh, if you didn't understand this process ask me i will create a record for you and i will definitely show you how this advanced filter works so see you in the next video